Same question I asked Chad. What what has allowed this defense after losing eight starters in the NFL to not slip? Uh, really just the standard of play that we have at Georgia. It's just like it's a level of play that we have and a standard that we gotta uphold every every day, like going into practice. So we just gotta come in and compete at a high level. Well, obviously, you uh, have the value of a lot of experience uh, being here. Where, where does this, just the feeling right now and the expectation for Saturday's game, where does this fall? Do you find yourself uh, excited about the atmosphere? Do you think that's going to be like? And, and uh, can you compare uh, those feelings to any of your past experiences? I mean, just being at Georgia, every experience is a great experience. So I feel like, and it being a home game, I feel like it's going to be a great atmosphere. But just like the the level that people are thinking this this game is going to be, it's going to be like high intensity, high energy game. Uh, it's going to be a great atmosphere. Tremel, what kind of a domino effect does losing Nolan have? Does it is it just limited to the outside linebackers, or does that you know come down to guys like yourself? Uh, I mean, we got guys that come in and work in every day, so it's just like I wouldn't say a domino effect, but we got guys that come in and put the same amount of work in that every other player has. So it's just like, it's it's on the coaches to like pick the next man and then they're going to be ready when their name is called. Tremel, you guys have played a lot of mobile quarterbacks this year. Just what has stood out to you about getting ready for Hendon Hooker, the things he does well? Uh, he's just a, you know, he's an athletic quarterback so he can get out and run in the pocket. Uh, he can throw the ball, deep balls downfield. So we just got to be able to contain him inside that pocket and make him play within the framework of the pocket and make them make those passes. Jamel, uh, you lose you lose no one, but uh, you, you do have uh, Jalen back now. So just what does that mean having that guy back uh, for such a big week this week? Uh, yeah, Jalen's a great player, obviously. Um, he brings energy as well as Nolan does. So Nolan's going to always be a vocal leader. So he's going to be on the sideline preaching us up. And Jalen's going to, you know, impact the game the way he does every day, you know, big plays. Uh, Effort, all that stuff. Well, we've asked Coach Smart about Tennessee and, and talked about their passing game. He has emphasized how good they run the ball. Mm -hmm. What what stands out to you about what they've done well running the football and the challenge that's going to present? Just that, that, that tempo that they have with their offense. So it allows them to run the ball well, pass the ball well. We just got to be stout up front, strike blocks, and, you know, we'll be able to uphold. What's your relationship with Nolan Smith, and, and who is he off the field, that, you know, away from, from football? Oh, Nolan, uh, see, he's from the same area, 912 area, Savannah. Yeah. He's from that area, so we got a good relationship. Uh, off the field, he's just a great guy, you know. He's just on, he's got the same energy on and off the field, vocal. He loves to talk to you, he's going to ask you how your day went, uh, what's going on in your life, just different stuff like that. He's a great guy running off the field. What sort of progress have you seen from Michael, you know, going from, where he was in the spring to where he is. Uh, he's just like one of those young talent guys. He's just got to come in, get the uh, the technique and the scheme that we're playing, and wherever he's at on the field, he's going to make plays, and he's just that type of player. Hey, Tremel. Uh, Coach Moore obviously already kind of challenged fans to come out and you know, be loud, make as much noise as possible. I think you were here in 2019, if not mistaken, Notre Dame was here. What, re what do you recall about that atmosphere? How loud was it? And I know Zion would talk about that. Had you say hand signals, yeah. even went on defense the entire game. What do you remember about that? that uh, it was just so crazy. That game, it was just so loud. You know, we had to have like elite communication, like on and off the field, because it's just like the way the crowd was, how intense they were. You can barely like hear any signal calls or nothing like that. So you just got to be focused. But it's gonna be a great atmosphere the same way this weekend. With the crowd being so loud sometimes, does that ever affect y'all on defense or y'all just feed off that and get ready to eat? I mean, I feel like we definitely, it definitely like turns us up, but you know, we just got to have a lead communication, like I said, just to make sure we get the play call in and execute, execute the play that uh, coaches call. Anybody else for Tramiel? Oh, I'm just talking about crazy atmospheres. Can you bring us back to the first first drive against Arkansas last year? Mm -hmm. Oh man, <laughs> that drive, the play out that stood out to me was 
Vontae, um, he, it was a bird's call, so we used bird's rabbit's call for pass or run. He called it out, and it was just, he, he used a bull pull move on a, a guard and got the sack, and I just remember the crowd going crazy. It was just electric. I don't, it was just so wild. I mean, we love that feeling. It just pipes us up and makes us play better as a defense. Thank you. Okay, thank you.